50 years since his funeral, when the cranes along the Thames dipped low, when the streets were lined with those vast, silent crowds, the sheer brilliance of Winston Churchill remains undimmed. I'll never forget the first time I heard that voice. We shall defend our island, whatever the cost may be. We shall fight on the beaches, we shall fight on the landing grounds, we shall fight in the fields and in the streets. We shall fight in the hills. We shall never surrender. He knew that Britain was not just a place on the map, but a force in the world, with a destiny to shape events and a duty to stand up for freedom. And whom do they encounter in midstream but the irrepressible Prime Minister, who has come to see for himself. Pulling on his cigar in obvious satisfaction, he chats with a group of British Tommies. He left a Britain more free, more secure, more brave, and more proud. And for that, we must always be grateful to him.